Hi, this is me, Marvin of Everyday Marvin, and I am going to be reviewing or doing a short review of a two-in-one tablet that I bought recently in the past couple of weeks, and I just want to talk about it and review it and let you know what you're getting into when you decide to buy this particular tablet and whether it's really going to be for you or not. Now, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel, and let's get started. So again, um, my name is Marvin, and I love to review just random stuff uh, along with other kind of things in my videos. But in this particular video, I want to focus on a purchase that I made a few weeks back. Now, <clears throat> what what actually led me to the purchase that I made, um, which is this two on one, two on one Galileo Pro eleven and a half inch two thousand sixteen high performance two on one tablet. What led me to get this particular model or um, particular tablet, a two-in-one tablet, was the fact that I had had a laptop previous to this, which was a, I believe it was a HP notebook, um, DVC-36V something, and I also have a link to it in my description. I love that laptop. I had it for about three or four years, and I just did everything with that laptop. You know, I think I edited video, I think I played, I edited music, sound. Um, put all kind of projects together, PowerPoints, made PDS, created ebooks, did all kinds of things with that laptop. And it was a great laptop for what it for what it did. I think it had like 500 gigabytes of memory on it, so it could hold a lot of things. And on top of that, I had Google Drive, which I highly recommend. Um, either Google Drive or OneDrive or some kind of cloud drive for whatever uh, laptop or computer that you have because at some point you're going to want to switch over to something else. It's going to make things a lot easier when you just have everything backed up on some kind of cloud um, as a way just to give you the extra sense of security. But that's just me, but I love I love Google Drive um, and I also love OneDrive, which I highly recommend both. And so I had that laptop I had for a long time. And then finally, um, unfortunately, it got stolen a few months ago. And when it got stolen, I was like, kind of devastated. I was like, wow, you know, all that work. Unfortunately, again, the majority of that was backed up on the Google Drive. I, I knew that when I got my new laptop, very streamlined, mobile, portable. Not that my laptop wasn't portable before. It's just that in comparison to where laptops are now, and when I bought that laptop, um, laptops have really gotten a lot more sleeker since, uh, since three or four or five years ago since I got that laptop. Um, I know I wanted something like that so I could carry a little bit easier. Um, so I could just put in my backpack and just go real easy with. Because my other laptop, it was like a, you know, kind of, it had some kind of weight to it, you know. And you also didn't need to have a whole bunch of storage because I can always just go and buy an SD card to put in uh, whatever it is I want to be buying. And also, I had all those, you know, the clouds that I have now. Um, I can put most of that stuff on there. That's what I was doing anyway. Put majority of all my stuff on the cloud so that way if something that were to ever really happen to my laptop, I would be safe, you know, either way. So I knew it didn't have to be some big bulky thing. And so originally when I went out and bought this Asus tablet, or sorry, Asus I went and bought this Asus kind of mini notebook um, laptop, and I liked it. It was I think it was a 14 inch. I have a picture of it here um, in the video that you can see, and I have a link to it as well, so you can check it out and learn more about that. And I think it had about mm, 32 gigabytes of memory or somewhere along there, it, and you could put an SD card in. I think the memory was actually expendable or expandable too, where you could actually go into the RAM itself and upgrade that if you wanted to. And I really liked it. I liked the way it typed, and I could you know it was real compact. I could take it anywhere, um, and it was nice to have it. Now, unfortunately, a few weeks after purchasing that particular one, um, it one day I went to it, I opened it up. And it gave me this message talking about um, it wasn't shut down properly before and that it couldn't run, it didn't have enough, like I guess whatever memory or whatever system it was on, it couldn't run and it needed to restart. And so it kept restarting and restarting and restarting. I tried all these different methods. I went on YouTube, watched like, you know, six or seven different videos on how to try, to try to restore my computer back to where it was. Now, one of my big fault was that when I first got that tablet, or got that notebook, I should have backed it up um, on a USB drive, a um, little you know, USB stick. That would have saved me probably a lot of stress, and it probably I probably would actually would probably still have it now. <laughs> you know? And um, it was very frustrating because I couldn't do any of the work I needed to do. I ended up using the library computers to do like basic stuff that I normally do on my own. So I finally just called Amazon's customer service and they went ahead and they worked with me. And I, after I told them everything I had done, they're like, well, pretty much we can just, you know, you just send it back to us. We'll give you a refund. I will just replace it. And so I sent it back as a replacement. I recommend. Um, 
before you just forget about whatever it is that you purchase, especially like a laptop or something like that, go ahead. If you got to do Amazon, just go ahead and just call them back and say, you know, and try to work with their technical team because they actually have a technical support team for like laptops and things that you purchase through their website, which I didn't really realize that till much later. And so I went ahead and called them and they worked with me and they finally just set me up over the phone with a replacement. So um, they sent me like this little like, uh, voucher, uh, gave me this voucher thing I can just print out and, you know, tape it on a box and send the thing back, um, with the code and with, you know, the paid postage and all that stuff. So that was great. It made my life a lot easier. Um, and so while I was waiting for the replacement, because it actually, when the one that I wanted to get replacement for, they were out of stock at the time. And so I had to go ahead and just wait. And so I was waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. I was like, you know what? I kind of rather just go ahead and get something else because what if I get the same laptop? And, you know, I ended up having the same issue all over again, you know, even if I do back it up, say, for instance, I still back it up, but it still has some issues like that. Um, I didn't want to run into that possible scenario again. And so I was like, you know, it's fine because I'm not sure when this thing's going to be back in stock anyway. And so <clears throat> I went ahead and canceled it. I got a refund and I started looking for something cheaper, but something that, that I had originally looking for because originally I was looking for something like a tablet that had like a keyboard with it that I could take with me anywhere and, you know, I could be really mobile and be touch screen and all that. So that's what I originally wanted before I settled on buying the Asus. And so finally I get um, to the 2016 high performance Galileo Pro 11 and a half inch touch screen, you know, 32 gigabyte memory, 2 on 1 tablet. <laughs> Here is the tablet itself. <clears throat> now, it did not come with the case. The case, I ordered that separately. They recommended it. I went and got it. And I recommend you go and get the case too. I have a link to the case in my description box so you can check that out. The case makes it so much safer. I can just close it up. Put this on here. And tada, it's safe. I put it in my backpack. It's safe, you know. Um, it's very portable. And so, I'm going to turn it on. Sorry about the train going in the background. It's where I live, unfortunately. <laughs> and so, as you can see, the reason why it's called 2-in-1 tablet because, you know, it's a tablet with a keyboard attached. And so, um, that's one of the things I loved about it. So, you know, I'll take the, like, the little case and I'll park the case and off. And I just, you know, I can go from this... Type on the keyboard, type or type, and then all of a sudden I can just like just pop it off like this. Ta and ta-da! I have just an instant new little mobile tablet. And just click it back on. And the cool thing about it is that when you charge it, um, when you charge this, you don't have to charge the keyboard separately. You can just charge this, and then when you have it fully charged, or as charged as you want it to be, just click it back on here, type, no problem. Um, anytime. And so that was really a great thing, I thought. So, I'm going to turn it on so you can see how long it takes for it to start up. So, when you first turn it on, I admit that when I first was trying to turn it on, it was um, the button, you kind of had to hold it for a while. So, I'm going to hold it. And then, when you hold it down, just wait for the screen to come on. There you go. So, now it comes on slower than that. Um, and the startup time for it, as well, once it's finally on, it is probably about, I want to say, a minute long. Um, not the quickest startup time, but uh, once it's up, it's up. And so it has, I believe, one gigabyte of RAM. So <clears throat> you don't, don't really be, you really don't want to be running a million things on this thing. Don't really treat it like a full blown laptop. <laughs> it's a tablet with a keyboard. Remember that. And again, it only has about one gigabyte of RAM. And so as you can see, it takes a little while for it to start. So now it's on the startup screen. And so. Oh, and then also once your screen um, it has a time where it'll time out and the screen will go dark. Um, I gotta just press the little power button here on the side that you'll see I'm pointing to right here, and it, it'll pop right on. So I'll just touch it now, and my screen's back on. And you just unlock it, slide here, slide left, right. And I put a pen on mine, so let me put my pen in. Okay, and hit a little check mark here. And tada, I'm in my tablet. Um, in my case, I went ahead and bought a 32 gigabyte SD card um, and put it in here so that way for extra support. Now, the default memory in here, um, a storage memory is going to be 32 gigabytes, and then I got a 32 gigabyte um, card. You know, we can have all like your apps and stuff default to that because they have an option when you first turn on the laptop to have everything written to 
your SD card or rating to the tablet itself. And so, um, when you get it, it's going to have like a lot of Google apps on it, like Google Slides, Google, um, it's like a Google Docs, Google Sheets, um, all Google, you know, all their versions of different Microsoft things. And, you know, you can do a lot of work offline as well as online with this. And the getting onto Wi-Fi here is pretty simple. Um... You just make sure you slide down and it'll give you all these options. You'll click Wi-Fi, look for the nearest Wi-Fi um, network and it'll connect to it. Um, the Bluetooth is really simple to connect to as well. Turn it on, turn it off. Um, and the, the contrast of the screen brightness, full brightness, little brightness. Not really to me, to me that much of a difference when you switch it, but it's there. Turn your location on as well. GPS is also on this laptop. It's two-in-one. Get your email, all that stuff. And there were a few things I installed on here that was also on my phone. So let's go over that. These are things I recommend you go ahead and install once you get this. So when you click this little circle with the little dots here in the corner, you'll see right here, it's going to open up this thing. <clears throat> and I went ahead and installed Google Drive on here, you'll see. Google Drive. Um... Swift key, um, which I'll have it down there. Swift key is just basically a little keyboard you can install either on your phone or anything. And it gives you like a little keyboard that pops up. To me, I found handy for whenever I don't have it attached to this or I'm not close to my keyboard and I just have the tablet part by itself. Um, go ahead and install Swift key. It's just a really good app and it remembers a lot of your stuff. So that way, it'll start guessing what you're going to type before you even type. It saves you a lot of time. Um, I have it on my phone as well. Um, and then. I installed all-in-one toolbox, which basically helps keep any kind of your laptop, phone, notebook, whatever. It helps keep keep it pretty clean. Anything mobile keep, really keeps, helps to keep it clean. Um, and I can go to clean here on this app. And it'll go through here and just look for anything that's just like, you know, temporary files, things that are just kind of like holding up or clogging up you know, the processing on my tablet or really my phone as well. And it will help me to clear it out. You know, just press clean. Ta da, it's clean. You know, it's about to be clean. Um, and it also can run games on it pretty decently, I felt. Um, I played Super Mario Run on here, and it was a lot of fun to play. I'm going to try to show it here real quick. Um, well, as a part two. So, see, I had a couple of things open. Before I show you Super Mario Run, um, let's see what we got. What else do I have installed here? Google Chrome. I recommend going get Chrome as well. It's really great um, across all your systems. I like Chrome. Um, they have a camera on here, and I was having to really use the camera that much. I really didn't have any use for it because I use my phone for most camera stuff. So, um, but from what I was reading reviews, people were saying it was okay. It was an okay camera. It wasn't like the greatest. It has a front facing one um, right about here, and it has another one in the back. You know, right here that you can you know take a picture with whatever and like I say it's not really the greatest camera it's like stuck in like 2003 or something you know um <clears throat> one of my first laptops would have took about the same amount of quality pictures that th these cameras will take you know so don't really rely on this for like just great photos you know um let's see what else I have on here Evernote, I recommend that as a great way to keep notes across all your devices. I've been using Evernote for a couple years now. That's really, really like it. They have a free version, which works pretty great. You can pay, pay for the premium, but it's a free. <coughs> we'll do in most cases. Um, but I'll have a link to Evernote somewhere in my description box as well. Um, and I got Lookout, which was on my phone. This app that helps keep things clean as well for viruses and things like that. Um, and whenever it, whenever I install something, it automatically checks the, the apps to make sure there's nothing funny about them. Especially when you're installing stuff from unknown sources, it really helps with that. Um, MX Player, which I love MX Player because MX Player plays just about anything you want for it to play. Um, sometimes you download, you'll download a video file and you're like, dang, I can't play this on my you know, regular default player. Get MX Player. Like, MX Player can play just about anything. That's why I love it. I have it on my phone. I think I might have had it on my laptop, my other laptop, um, but I know I had it, have it on my phone. It's just a great little default player. It plays just about any kind of file that you need for it to play. 
And then also, whenever you need to get back to a screen or get back and see what all your tabs are, you just press this little square in the middle. And I'll show you what all you have open. And I recommend don't have a ton of things open on this 2-in-1 tablet. Because honestly, I mean, it's 1 gigabyte of RAM. It's on the little tablet I bought before this, it had a 4 gigabytes of RAM. It can run a lot of things at one time. And the more RAM you have, the more horsepower it has to keep a lot of things open and, and keep things running smoothly. But the less you have, the less you can have going on at the same time. And so I recommend don't have, don't have too many things going on with this, you know. Have it open to like a word processor, your music, and maybe online. That's about it. I have uh, several tabs open here because I forget about tabs a lot of times. Um, but I recommend just not to have too many things going. But to be honest, you can probably have seven or eight tabs open. It really won't be that big of a deal. Um, but but honestly, if you really want to keep it running as fast as, I recommend having probably no more than three or four tabs open at a time. Um, See what else we got on here. And again, you just hit the little square at the bottom here, and it'll take you and show you all your tabs. Uh, this little circle over here. I'm gonna open this up. This little circle down here. Um, it'll, I believe, it actually closes everything out. You'll, uh, you'll hit the circle, and it'll just it'll take you back to your home screen. So I'll put the square. Wait, in the circle. Yeah, and it'll close, take you right back to your home screen. Um, <clears throat> it also comes with Google Play Music. Um, all the little Google apps as well that you can you know find on a lot of Android phones because this is an Android tablet, so keep that in mind. So it's gonna be very Android based. Um, but also you can type. So you probably want to see. Okay, so the keyboard on here. How does the keyboard work? First off, I like typing with this keyboard. This keyboard to me is like probably one of the best, most like I don't say sturdy, but just like nice feeling keyboards to type on on an on the go kind of tablet. You know. So I'm gonna open up. For instance, Google Docs here. And I also installed Microsoft Word on here as well as Microsoft PowerPoint. I got the apps, the free apps right off the Google Play Market. Anybody can get those. I recommend you get those as well. Especially if you work with, with Microsoft a lot or Microsoft um you know Word and PowerPoint and other Microsoft you know based apps. So <clears throat> for instance here I can start. I'm actually gonna pull up Microsoft Word so you can see it. So let me go find it. So word. Oh, and also let me get Prey. This app here called Prey, which basically allows you to keep track of all your devices in the case they um they fall. I mean, in case you lose them or they get stolen, you're safe. And so I'm gonna go here, Microsoft Word. And let's see, let me pull up. Document and depending on how many things you have going, this is gonna go fast or slow. Um, typically it goes at a pretty good speed, so I'll type, you know, hi, my name. You really can't see that clearly here, but it's typed. Hi, my name is <laughs> uh, my name. Um, and it runs just about like the real desktop version would run. Um, as for internet, I don't have my tablet right now hooked up to the internet, but I'm going to try to have it real quick so you can see it. But yeah, so you can type on here, do PowerPoint presentations on here. It's just a really good, I think, basic, on-the-go type thing. So, <clears throat> and we also want to be how our games on this. Games run pretty smoothly, I found. Um, ones that are internet-based, just make sure you connect to the internet. And the ones that aren't, typically run no fine. Um... See if there's anything else. I want to show you Super Mario Run on here real quick and how it runs. Okay, so I'll show you how I typed. I said it has a, it's a good keyboard. Um, I said once you just click it in there, it's ready to go. So I don't have much time, so let me wrap this up. So I'm going to take this off here. Just pop it off. Again, I recommend that case. I'll have a link to it in the description box. Um, and one of the last things I want to show you was I want to show you the how Super Mario Run runs on this thing. So here is I download Super Mario Run. Here it goes. Tap it. Tap it open now. And it's actually surprising because I thought you know this thing was you know 2016 and it's a high performance running thing you know for the one gigabyte of RAM that it has. Um, but I was like you know what about we run Super Mario Run? So I went and downloaded just to test it out. And ta-da! As you will see, Super Mario Run. 
and then it's hooked up to the internet right now. I just connected it, and with the internet connection I have right now, isn't really the best, so it may take a little second just to actually connect, connect to it. Because the second thing about Super Mario Run is you have to be connected to the internet at all times for it to work right. So you see, it just connected. Tap to begin. Yep, so here is Super Mario Run. Um, here. Um, <clears throat> so, this is a side scroll of game. If you haven't played Super Mario Run, it's lots of fun. Make sure you check it out. So, here it is. Yep. So, you can see it, it's pretty steady. Yep, that's how it runs. I just wanted to show you that how it runs. So it runs pretty well. So it runs games on it pretty decently. Go back. So and whenever you want to get back to your screen, just swipe up or and it has this little default menu here at the bottom. And I can click to go back to my home screen, get circle, whatever. So um it also has a little port here for your for your headphones. It can go here. It has Bluetooth, which I use this Bluetooth headphone to connect to, which I bought off of Amazon as well. I have a link to it in the description box as well to check out. Pretty decent headphones. It's like seventeen or fifteen dollars. Um again here's the power button. Here's the port for where your headphones go. You know if you have like the actual headphone headphones, which are way over there. <laughs> um the HDMI port, there is the USB port as well, which is what I'm using right now for my um, wireless mouse, which I also got this wireless mouse off of Amazon for about nine bucks. That way I can have it when I want to have it in more laptop like mode. I recommend this. I recommend this TechNet Nano wireless um, mouse. Really great, really cheap. Only one double A battery needs to go in this thing for it to run well, and it it runs. Again, when I'm ready for it to go back to full laptop mode, I just click it on in. And, yep, ta -da, it's connected. And I'm going to turn my mouse on real quick. I'm going to go back to my little Microsoft Word document I had. So we can see a little bit easier. And turn my mouse on here at the bottom. Just turn on the on button. It's on OK. And click. And... You will see there's now like a little cursor. It should be a little cursor. Yep, see the little cursor going there? That little black cursor. That's my wireless mouse going, and it works great. It's great. I had great reviews. Again, I have a link to it in the description box because it, it worked really, really well. And so, um, it's just about everything. For So, to me, it was worth the buy. For me, when I bought it, it was $89. Um, right now, I think it's $95. Um, at either price, it's a great buy. Again, if you want something you can take with you, do basic word processing, basic PowerPoints. Um, basic web surfing. Um, it's really great for that. Let me see if I can go on the internet real fast. Uh, I was hooked with the internet, connected to the internet with the Super Mario Run. Um, and when it runs the internet, it runs relatively pretty quickly, depending on how your internet connection is. So, again, I recommend getting the 2 in 1 Galileo 11.5 inch screen, uh, 2016 high performance 2 in 1 tablet because it's a great on the go tablet, great for kids, uh, great for adults, again, you can do basic processing on the go. So, again, my name is Marvin of Everyday Marvin. I hope you found this review helpful. And again, go click the link to find out more about this two in one tablet, find out about this mouse, um, find out about these screen protectors that came with it, which I haven't used yet, but they are definitely going to get used. It comes with a screen protector as well. Um, which I've been using as a default. So again, thank you for watching. I hope you found this helpful. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you check the links in the description box to learn more about this particular laptop. So you have a great day and thank you.